best people I've ever met in my life are Mr. Davis, which I think was my eighth grade. Would that have been pre calculus? Maybe HP pre calculus? Or something? I don't think it was calculus, because that was Miss Sandquist or something like that. I don't think it was AP. Calculus was AP, but for calculus, I'm pretty, I think was pre-calculus. I don't think that was just a normal class, so I, I think it would have been HP pre-calculus, I think. But Mr. Davis, the dude who taught that class, um, Miss Schollander from fourth grade, I believe. Miss Degner from second grade. I was going to talk about best people. I was just going to mention like one teacher, but since it stayed on teachers, maybe I'll just stay on teachers. Just to talk about how I remember the names of a lot of my teachers. First grade teacher was Miss Meitner. She was kind of, she was a little rough or a little, or strict or whatever. She was some. Um, second grade teacher Miss Degner. Then transferred from a private school to a public school, and that was. That was a transition. Not because of the private to public. I I don't know. I don't think it, but because we had to move away from all our friends and stuff. But you had Miss Scotty, I believe, as a third grade teacher. Ms. Scholander is a fourth grade teacher. And fifth grade is perhaps where subjects start getting like split between different teachers. So fifth grade, or was it sixth grade that, that happened? Maybe fifth grade was just Miss Hillstad. And she was also another one of those teachers that was this kind of something. <laughs> um, hard. Hard-hearted to some degree. But life will do that to you. Closed off something. Sixth grade, sixth grade, I think, is where the diversifying or the specializing of teachers happened. So sixth grade, we had Mr. Williams, who was our main teacher as well. And maybe he had a specialized subject. Can't remember. Miss Bomback, she was another hard cookie. She, I remember one time she thought we said something 
negative or something, and then we explained it to her, and then she thanked us or apologized for that. It's probably one of the biggest memories I have of her. But uh, Miss Bomback was for reading. Miss Krutzig was for social studies. Miss Krutzig was nice. And she knew, I think she knew Dan Miller's wife, Connie. And Dan was an assistant coach for basketball for us growing up. So I could go into coaches, but, um, um, let's see, Miss Gramath taught math, she was okay, um, Miss Wetzel? I don't know why, I don't know if what happened that she came into the picture, but I don't know if she took over from one of the previously mentioned teachers at one point during the year, or if she just, I don't know, but somehow, because I feel like she thought she taught social studies. So then did she take over for Kretzig? But maybe not, I don't know. But I, she did social studies, she did, because she did maps, I, I thought maybe, I don't know. Yeah, she, because wasn't the test with all the capitals, wasn't that with her? Yeah, so she did, she did maps or social studies or something. Or maybe she, maybe social studies was just extra specialized and she had a, her own semester, trimester, I guess back then would have been trimesters, maybe she had her own trimester to herself. Or part of tribes, or I don't know. Um, she was really nice. She was new. Um, seventh grade, junior high, Miss White. She was really nice. Science. Yeah, Miss White was a beautiful teacher. I think she was a beautiful person. Actually. Um. Mr. Scher, for a math teacher, might have been seventh grade. He was cool. <laughs> he was a cool teacher. It's funny, perhaps, too. Wait, no. Mr. Sh Wait, hold on. Mr. Was math divided into trimesters? Because eighth grade was Mr. Davis. Wait, no. What about Mr. Nori? It's okay, seventh. Well, then who was Mr. I'm confused. Do we have a math teacher every trimester or something? Because Miss Sanquist had all of ninth grade AP calculus, eighth grade should have been Mr. Davis for pre calculus. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope. I'm thinking high school. I am getting <laughs> my high school math teachers confused. Okay. That's why this is happening. Mr. Davis was an 11th grade teacher. Miss Sanquist was a 12th grade teacher. And 10th grade, I'm guessing maybe was Mr. Nori. So 7th grade was like Mr. Emmers or something. He was really, I th if I remember correctly, I want to say he was a well-mannered guy. Like kind of, perhaps kind of quiet, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. But well-mannered, kind of reserved, maybe. I don't know. 
but I, I think well-mannered at least, if not shy and all that, um, and then, was Mr. Emmer's 8th grade, and if Mr. Emmer's was 8th grade, who was 7th grade? Because in junior high, for math teachers, there's Mr. Emmer's, I believe was his name, and Mr. Scheer, and I think Mr. Scheer was 8th grade, but then who would ninth grade have been? There's a junior high math teacher that I'm blanking on. For science in junior high, maybe Miss White was actually high school. Or was she junior high? Mr. Cannon was junior high, and this is Maple Grove Junior High. Mr. Cannon was fun. He let us tell jokes in, fr in front of the class on, I don't know if it was one day a week or something. But Mr. Cannon was, was cool. He was a special teacher. He was a, he was an interesting character or a cool character, perhaps humorous, maybe. But Mr. Cannon was the, Okay, so, yeah, Miss Van Horn, who was also cool, she was kind of, oh, she was, she was cool. Um, Miss Van Horn was a seventh grade teacher, Kaede, the brother, one of the brothers actually had her, and she remembered me, but I believe she was the seventh grade teacher, Mr. Cannon would have been the eighth grade teacher, and so I think that would make Mr. Loomis the ninth grade English teacher, and these are all English teachers, Miss Van Horn, Mr. Cannon, and Mr. Loomis. Um, and then science. Maybe Miss White was junior high because Yeah. Miss White actually probably was junior high. And so Miss White's side <laughs> I think maybe was also junior high. And science teacher you would add um, social studies junior high teachers junior high social studies teachers. Oh, but they had the best cookies sometimes in junior high. I think that was junior high, not high school. They had, once in a while, they had these big, delicious cookies. The only time I've tasted something like that again was when a friend at, that worked at a gas station let me have one of the cookies before they got too warm or too cooled down. I think that's the only time I ever tasted something like that again. But it would take too long to go into all the 
high school and especially college and all that, teachers. But teachers play a big role in, you remember your teachers for the most part. person kind of remembers their teachers, at least you do, so, I wonder if everyone remembers their teachers. Miss Martin, my French teacher for three years, was a. She cared about me. She was a good teacher. She could be hardcore sometimes to some people, at least one person, because she had jokes or she'd be saying some stuff sometimes, but she was cool. She would be getting like emotional sometimes <laughs> once in a while. She kind of put her heart out grievances <laughs> with their daughter or the world <laughs> or some or I don't know with their daughter or with students or something but she cared about us she was cool and so there's all these there's perhaps other teachers I could say too but don't have the time at the moment Jill Keller <laughs> taught like positive leadership I think Maybe other classes, I'm not sure. But she was she was quite bright, like positivity wise. Like she she was very positive. Only had her for like a semester, I think. I don't think she liked though that for the appreciation card that you gave to a bunch of teachers that you had something about God or Christianity or um, the Bible or something. She didn't say anything, though, but I, I, that's the impression that I got. <laughs> Even Miss Martin kind of gave you a look when <laughs> you said something faith-related on a uh, on kind of like this approval thing you have to get from teachers for getting into student senate. <laughs> but she still signed it or whatever. <sighs> Miss Martin and Miss Keller were friends, I believe. So I wonder if at the Y, you weren't like a teacher, but like, and for the ELC kids, they were probably too young, I'm guessing, to remember, but like, well, actually, for the young, young kids, but for the brief times you're in like that older ELC class, like Marley and maybe some of them, I don't know, brief times you're in some of those older classes just not the youngest class I don't think they'll remember for the youngest ELC but any brief time you're in one of those older ELC classes maybe one of them remember or school age there might a lot of them seem to be forgetting you some of them did remember when you saw them later on but I feel like pretty much all of them will forget. <laughs> Is there
there's someone who will remember me. A, there's a couple kids that could because they have extra experiences with me like Shelby have actually been to her house actually like with her mom her sister and brother her like I just, I've seen them hung out with them like and then other kids that I, there's this other family the dad and the kids that I always see like at downtown whatever they're called not fairs but parades I always be seeing them so they might remember me because they've seen me all these extra times but so those two fa families might probably will I would think but will any other of the kids remember me? Will I stick in their memory? The way some of my teachers, a lot of my teachers, I perhaps have stuck in mine. Though I wasn't their full teacher. <laughs> but just, you know, after school, kind of daycare almost. But I remember. Maybe not.